When most people think of gym supplements, they think of either whey protein, creatine monohydrate, or BCAAs. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually share with you a brand new dye peptide known as dilucine, which is a new form of leucine that appears to have some very favorable effects on supporting muscle growth. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like this video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So first of all, let's understand what are BCAAs. Well, BCAAs are branched chain amino acids, and you can see that the nine essential amino acids consist of histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Now, the three key ones to pay attention to specifically for muscle growth include leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, if we hyper-focus on leucine, a lot of research has been conducted on leucine's ability to stimulate something known as muscle protein synthesis. But what I'm really excited to share with you today is actually a brand new form of leucine that is called dileucine, which is a dipeptide. And so in this video, what I'll do is outline why this dileucine is in fact much more effective than leucine itself at stimulating muscle growth. So over the years, a lot of the research has been focused on specifically leucine. And we can see this study here was titled, a focus on leucine in the nutritional regulation of human skeletal muscle metabolism in aging, exercise, and unloading states. And so why is leucine so important for muscle growth? Well, leucine is one of the essential amino acids, meaning that the body cannot produce it on its own and it must obtain it through diet or supplementation. Now, leucine plays a crucial role in muscle protein synthesis, which is the process by which the body builds new proteins, including muscle proteins. Now, several factors contribute to the importance of leucine for muscle growth, and one of them specifically, which I know you guys are very interested in, is the stimulation of muscle protein synthesis. Now, leucine is a key activator of the mTOR pathway, or the mammalian target of rapamycin pathway. Now, this is a signaling pathway that plays a central role in regulating muscle protein synthesis. Now, when leucine levels in the blood increase, it actually signals to the body that there are sufficient amino acids available for protein synthesis, leading to the activation of mTOR and the subsequent increase in muscle protein synthesis. So how the heck can leucine get even better? Well, I'm very excited to share with you dileucine peptide. Now, dileucine is a dipeptide consisting of two leucine molecules, which boosts metabolic processes that drive muscle growth percent more than free leucine does, according to a randomized control study. Now, bear in mind, if you do want to purchase this new form of leucine known as dileucine, that will be linked in the video description down below if you wanted to purchase this new form of leucine. Now, Interestingly, researchers found that this dileucine boosts metabolic processes that drive muscle growth 42% more than free leucine does. And we'll get into the details and the nitty gritty and the science behind how dileucine significantly outperforms any other amino acid to boost muscle growth. Now we can see this study here was titled, Dileucine Ingestion is more effective than leucine in stimulating muscle protein turnover in young males, a double-blind randomized controlled trial. And the authors noted that our findings provide insight into the mechanisms of the anabolic functions of protein foods. Kevin Paulison, Department of Kinesiology and Community Health at the University of Illinois. One of the findings of our study was that known high quality protein foods as dictated by their capacity to stimulate muscle protein synthesis are also relatively high in dileucine. Now to our knowledge, this is the first study investigating the effects of dileucine ingestion on human muscle protein metabolism, he notes. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. 
unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. This next study here was titled, Dilucine Enriched Essential Amino Acids Support Greater Whole Body Anabolism Than Branch Chain Amino Acids and Collagen Hydrolysate After Resistance Exercise in Recreationally Active Adults. Now, what they noted in this particular study was that Essential amino acid ingestion after resistance exercise stimulates muscle protein synthesis and whole body anabolism. And previous work has demonstrated that ingestion of two grams of dilucine is more effective at stimulating myofibrillar protein synthesis compared to two grams of leucine in young men at rest. So this is pretty outstanding research that dilucine is outperforming leucine in young adults at rest in terms of stimulating myofibrillar protein synthesis. Now, the authors said that they aimed to determine the effect of a dilucine containing essential amino acid formula, which was DIEAA, two grams of dilucine, one gram of leucine on the anabolic response after resistance exercise in young recreationally active adults when compared with ingesting branch chain amino acids or BCAA, three grams of leucine, 1.5 grams of isoleucine and 1.5 grams of valine. That's what you typically see with BCAA supplements is the uh, two to one to one ratio, which is oftentimes the most commonly found BCAA product on the market is a two to one to one ratio or isonitrogenous collagen hydrolysate. Now in a randomized double blind crossover design, 12 healthy adults performed a 60 minute bout of whole body resistance exercise after which they ingested the DIEAA, BCAA or collagen protein beverages with 100 milligrams of L-leucine. Total exogenous leucine retention was greater in the DIAA compared to BCAA by 161% with both the DIEAA and BCA greater than the collagen by 852% and 530% respectively. The iLucine enriched essential amino acids supported greater whole body anabolism than BCAA or collagen after resistance exercise independent of any attenuation in estimates of MPB in healthy young adults. In conclusion, our research provides the first insights into enriching dilucine peptides in conjunction with essential amino acids to enhance post-exercise anabolism. So the big takeaway here is that dilucine in conjunction with other essential amino acids does appear to increase the anabolic effect of essential amino acids. So it makes sense that as a user who's, you know, maybe a complete natty athlete is you know, you're probably taking creatine, you're probably taking citrulline, you might want to consider adding dilucine into your pre-workout or post-workout supplement stack to increase muscle protein synthesis much more potently. So let's take a look at how dilucine actually works. We need to understand this rapid absorption that occurs with peptide 185, which is the version of dilucine that I'll be linking in the video description. So they've noted that peptide 185's ultra stable and highly bioavailable structure allows for a rapid and more efficient absorption of leucine and dilucine via specialized transporters in the gut directly into the bloodstream. But we can see here, they go through the amino acid transporters and they make their way into the bloodstream. Whereas we can see the peptides, there's a different pathway, the dipeptide and tripeptide transporters that actually occur in the gut and these peptide transporters allow for more efficient absorption and utilization by the body. Looking at the next study here, this study here was titled Effects of 10 Weeks of Dilucine Supplementation on Athletic Performance. Now, this was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study. Now, participants supplemented daily for 10 weeks 
while following a 10 week resistance training program. Now testing occurred at weeks zero, two, six, and 10, and there were 32 resistance trained males in this particular study. Now, this was a double blind placebo controlled study. Participants supplemented daily for 10 weeks with either two grams of dilucine, two grams of just leucine, or two grams of rice flour placebo. Interestingly, they noted that supplementation with two grams of dilucine while following a resistance training program for 10 weeks in healthy resistance trained males led to greater increases in lower body maximal strength when compared to placebo ingestion. Supplementation with two grams of dilucine tended to result in a greater number of leg press repetitions supported when compared to leucine ingestion. All changes observed with leucine ingestion were similar to changes observed when a placebo was consumed. So this is pretty outstanding research on how dilucine outperforms leucine, which already has some pretty impressive research to suggest that it may assist with muscle development. So the ultimate question is, what would happen if you combine two leucine peptides together? Well, researchers did just that when they created the L-leucyl L-leucine monohydrate or dilucine DL185. Now the dilucine is a peptide consisting of these two leucine chemically bonded to one another that get into the bloodstream intact and can boost protein synthesis even better than regular L-leucine. Now, we're not just talking about a little bit better. We're talking about a demonstrated impressive 159% greater activation of muscle protein synthesis compared to baseline and 60% greater than regular leucine. What is even more interesting is that compared to baseline, leucine did not stimulate muscle protein synthesis indicating that the intact dilucine is signaling the muscle to resynthesize new muscle proteins. So we're looking at a massive 159% greater activation of muscle protein synthesis compared to baseline and 60% greater than regular leucine. That is a massive increase and that could be the difference between gaining 0.1 pound of muscle per month you know, that is, a, that is a big difference for some natural lifters. So you can see here the de demonstrated effects of leucine at versus dilucine at rest and at the 180 minute mark, the differences in the muscle protein synthesis. And so that pretty much wraps up today's video on dilucine. If you do want to purchase this peptide 185 dilucine in capsule form, I'll make sure to leave that linked in the video description down below. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.